What's up guys and welcome back to the Keep It Techy channel where we dive deep into the world of Linux and help you navigate the tech field. I'm Josh and today we're going to talk about a critical open SSH vulnerability that could potentially lead to remote code execution as root on your Linux system. Now this is serious stuff but don't worry I'm going to break it all down and guide you through the necessary steps to protect your system. So let's jump right in. All right, so I'm at NIST.gov, and I'm not sure if you guys know this, but you can go through and search through vulnerabilities that are out there. If you see a vulnerability ID, you can search for the vulnerability and you can find all the information about it. And of course, I have a link down in the description of the video. So what's the deal with this new open source vulnerability? This bug is a signal handler race condition found in the open SSH server component, commonly known as SSHD. And it has a code name of regression with the SSH capitalized. And essentially this flaw can allow unauthenticated remote code execution with root privileges on glib C based Linux systems. And the reason this vulnerability is called regression is because of a 18 year old flaw that was previously patched, but somehow got reintroduced in October 2020 with OpenSSH version 8.5 P1. And researchers from Qualls discovered this issue and reported that it affects versions from 8.5 P1 to 9.7 P1. And under specific lab conditions, they demonstrate successful exploitation on 32-bit Linux glibc systems, which required about six to eight hours of continuous connection attempts. Now, the impact of this vulnerability is significant and can lead to a full system compromise, allowing attackers to execute arbitrary code with the highest privileges, bypass security mechanisms, steal data, and maintain persistent access. Now let's go down and hop over to the terminal so I can get into how you can protect your systems from this vulnerability. I want to break it down by distribution to make it easier for you to follow. Before we move forward, I want to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm logged into Ubuntu 24.04, and I basically want to show you guys how to mitigate Debian based and Ubuntu based systems first. The general mitigation steps is simply to update SSH, and the maintainers have released patches to address this vulnerability. So just ensure your system is running the latest version of Open SSH. The next step is simply to limit SSH access, and I'll show you guys how to make some changes in your configuration file because there's network based controls that can limit SSH access. And then another thing you can do is implement network segmentation to restrict unauthorized access and lateral movement within the network. And the last step to mitigate it is to monitor your SSH logs. So make sure you keep an eye on them for any unusual activity. Multiple failed login attempts could indicate a exploitation attempt. And this ties back to the other video that I show you when protecting your Ubuntu server, I talk about fail to ban. Fail to ban is a good tool that will monitor your logs and ban IPs that are doing multiple attempts against your server to authenticate. Now, I know this server is out of date, so I wanna run through, just quickly updating it right fast and then making those changes in configuration. So let's type sudo apps updates and this will refresh our repository look for any updates to any packages that we have installed on the system and let you know if they are available to you and then you can upgrade them i understand that it's 16 packages that can be upgraded but i want to focus in on open ssh all you have to do is type sudo apt upgrade and then the package name is open ssh tech server the only reason i'm doing it this way for people that may not want to do the updates for the other packages you can specify a specific package that you want to get upgraded so let's go on press enter and this will upgrade just that package in debian based and ubuntu based at least from what i've seen they put information about the cve 
during the upgrade process. Like for instance, here's the CVE number. It says open SSH has been fixed for 22.04 LTS, 23.10 and 24.04 LTS. And there is the code name regression. So with the SSH capitalized, possible RCE due to race condition in signal handling. Ubuntu has security notice put out there about this vulnerability. So let's go down and run it right fast. All we have to do is type Y, press enter. That'll go down and upgrade those packages for us on the system. So we are updated. And as you can see right here, it says Josh at session is using the outdated binary. So of course we need to restart the server, but I wanted to show you guys where to make changes in the configuration. Now you want to go into the global configuration file. Let me clear right fast so you guys can see a little better. But all you got to do is type sudo and then nano or whatever text editor you prefer, vi, vim, whatever. And then under your e directory, there is a ssh directory. And then what you want to look for is sshd and then underscore config and go down and press enter. And this is our system wide configuration or global configuration of this server and what i recommend you guys do is go down at least here and do this permit roots login and what you want to do is uncomment this line and change this to no because you do not want to permit root login so all you have to do is type no at the end of it permit root login and that won't allow root to log into the system and then another thing you could do is you can allow specific users like for instance allow users and you can specify a specific user. So I'm gonna specify Josh, which is my account on the system. And if you want to add more than one, put a space in there. So let's say we had a John account as well. Just put a space in there and then add John. There is another option you can add in here and that's allow groups. And I recommend you do it this way. That way it's easier to manage the users. You can add the specific users that you want to have access via SSH under a specific group you can create a group called SSH users and then add each user you want to have access to the server to that group. And now I don't have uh, that group created, but you could just type allow groups with a S and then let's say we named a group SSH users. And then all you gotta do is specify that. You can also use like that admin group that's built into the system, things like that. And all you gotta do is put a space in there and that'll allow you to add multiple groups or up there at the top, you can do multiple users. I'm gonna hit control X, Y to save, press enter. And now we have to restart our SSH server. And all you have to do is type sudo system CTL and then restart SSH dot service. As you can see, I didn't lose connection, but I'm gonna exit out and then go back to this server right fast SSH. And as you can see, we are allowed to log back into the system because that user account is it within the configurations. Now let's go down and exit out because I wanted to go through and basically do the exact same thing on a rail based system. Just show you guys how to update it. So CentOS, Rail, Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, all those rail based distros that are out there. You can basically update your system the exact same way we did with Ubuntu. You just have to use that specific package manager that's run 155 i think is that ip address let's type y a s y e s press enter type in our password for it boom and then let's go on clear i'm in this rail based system right now this is rocky linux 9 and all you had to do is type sudo yum and then check the updates and press enter that'll refresh the repositories for us and look like we may not have that update yet let me see we should let's see updates and then what i'm gonna do is just type it in the exact same way we did it over on the other side so open ssh server and press enter and i'll go through and update it oh i think this one is updated let's just run our updates on the system that way we can make sure we got everything and look like we got an error there let's use dnf so let's go sudo dnf and then upgrade and press enter. Ah, and it looks like we got an issue with something dealing with Python. Not sure what it is, but SSH is up to date. As you can see, there are no updates for it. It looks like a Python issue, but I just wanted to at least show you guys what to do on rail based systems. It sucks that it aired out for us, but it looks like it's up to date. So we get to go, but you can make changes. Let me just go on clear. You can make changes to your configuration files the exact same way. So sudo nano 
and then under our e directory ssh and then sshd underscore config and press enter basically the same file open ssh configuration global configuration or system-wide configuration but you can go through and make your changes here just like we made on the Debian system like for instance here's the permit root user you can change that to no and you can also make other changes but also if you're interested in protecting your server a whole lot better then i recommend you get fail to ban installed on your system as well that way it'll block people or at least stop people from running the scripts and stuff that they run in order to try to brute force your system but the first thing is to update that patch all right so that's it for today's video on this critical open ssh vulnerability this issue is a reminder of how important it is to keep your system up to date and to follow best security practices so make sure to apply that latest patch like i stated limit your ssh access and also monitor your system closely now if you find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the keep it techie channel for more linux tutorials and tech insights also if you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss any of the updates stay safe and of course keep it techie